The Himalayas in Nepal, home to the world's highest mountain, Everest, and a symbol of man's desire to conquer nature. But while climbers still do battle with the environment, the unique region is facing destruction from man-made climate change. I would say for the first time in human history, we could probably say that what we used to think of as acts of God, extreme weather, avalanches caused by flooding, we're actually now starting to see that there's a real human influence, or almost acts of humankind. So great is the threat that ProPublic in Nepal, part of Friends of the Earth International, is calling on UNESCO to place Everest National Park on the World Heritage Danger List. It's warning that unless urgent action is taken, many Himalayan lakes could burst, threatening the lives of thousands of people and destroying a unique and irreplaceable environment. ProPublic Friends of the Earth Nepal is bringing a matter of world importance to international attention. People in the developing world are already being affected by climate change and they're standing up to protect their people and their environment. The World Heritage Committee needs to take action now to protect its unique sites around the world, but it also needs to put pressure on countries around the world to cut their greenhouse gas emissions. The devastation that glacial lakes can cause has already been seen in Nepal. In the mid-1980s, when a huge ice block fell into the Dig Show Glacial Lake, its banks failed and millions of tons of water were released in four hours. A five-story high wall of water swept away a hydroelectric power station, scores of bridges and five lives were lost. Experts agree that catastrophes like these are set to become more likely. The more temperature rises, the more we would expect glaciers to pull back from their moraines, the more melt we would expect, and there'd be definitely an increased likelihood in glacial lakes forming until such time as they breach their dams. The glacial lake seen here didn't exist 50 years ago and is one of several in Nepal identified by the UN as potentially dangerous. It contains millions of tons of water and is growing every year. Locals are worried about what might happen. Within 50 years, that lake has been developed. If it breaks out all of a sudden and all the water volume release, 28 million cubic meter of water volume release at once, it will be devastating. The climate change problems Nepal is facing are the result of pollution from countries around the globe, including the UK, where rising carbon dioxide emissions from transport, industry and the domestic sector are increasing problems for people on the other side of the planet. It's a typical example of a vulnerable developing country who's going to take the impact of global warming predominantly caused by developed countries. The effects of climate change aren't unique to Nepal. Other World Heritage glaciers and coral reefs in Peru and Belize are also under threat and experts are predicting an increase in extreme weather, storms and droughts in the UK and across Europe. Friends of the Earth wants the UK government to take a lead in reducing emissions a view supported by the UN. And so it's up to the governments to uh, have strong policies. Uh, it's up to uh, industry and business to take on their responsibilities. And it's also up to you and me, the man on the street, the woman on the street, to actually understand that small actions collectively have very big effects. Putting Everest National Park on the danger list would mean UNESCO must assess Nepal's glacier lakes and stabilize those most at risk. ProPublic, Friends of the Earth Nepal, is asking the World Heritage Committee to require governments around the world to take action on climate change by reducing their own country's emissions. This would ensure that the world's most spectacular places remain for future generations.